This is a Tesla valve, a device invented in 1920 by Nikola Tesla, an inventor, scientist and engineer that nowadays has his name tied to a car floating in space. A Tesla valve is a one-way passive check valve that due to its unique geometry allows fluids to flow in one way but blocks flow when they try to go the other way, just like a mechanical diode. The advantage behind this valve is that just like a diode, it has no moving parts because the secret to its functionality comes from its ingenious geometry. When the fluid tries to go this way, it can do so without major deviations. The path is almost straightforward and because of that there's virtually no resistance. But when the fluid tries to go the opposite way, well, then we have a different story to tell. Because the valve is full of buckets, the fluid is forced to split so that one of the streams keep going but the others reverse their direction. This creates several countercurrent flows, which increases the resistance significantly. This valve is an amazing feat of ingenuity, and also not a valve. Nikola Tesla never actually described this device as being a valve, instead he called it a valvular conduit, and that's because of the big differences between the two. A traditional one-way check valve might have many different designs, but they normally have two things in common. They have moving parts, and they completely block flow in one of the directions. On the other side, a valvular conduit has no moving parts and is not able to completely block flow in one of the directions. I mean, it can, but is not as cut and dry as in the traditional valves. The resistance a valvular conduit is able to offer to flow depends on the number of buckets on the valve, the speed of the flow, and the interval of time in which the pressure is applied. This invention was specifically designed to work with short pulses of high speed fluid and Tesla already had a couple of applications in mind for it. One of these was the famous earthquake machine, a contraption developed by Tesla that supposedly made an entire building shake upon testing it. If you're a fan of Mythbusters, you probably know what I'm talking about. The earthquake machine is actually just a pocket-sized mechanical oscillator, which is able to vibrate at a wide range of frequencies. In theory, if you made this oscillator vibrate at the natural frequency of the material in which it is in contact with, you could make the whole structure resonate by amplifying the amplitude of its natural frequency and thus make it collapse. Tesla actually had more modest ambitions for this machine. He wanted to combine his mechanical oscillator with a valvular conduit to create a high-efficient fast-pulse double-acting pump or compressor, in which the Tesla valve would act as a one-way check valve who simultaneously pushes and pulls the fluid from one reservoir to another. This was a great job for his valvular conduit, because any other check valves with moving parts would probably wear out or even break under these high frequencies. I'll talk more in depth about Tesla's mechanical oscillator on my next video, which if I already made should be appearing right here. If nothing appears is either because I haven't made the video or because I forgot to put it there. In any of the cases, why don't you take this moment to subscribe to the channel by stabbing the button down there. The second application Tesla had in mind for its valvular conduit was to use it in a pulse jet engine. A pulse jet engine works in a simple way by exploding a mixture of air and fuel in the combustion chamber. After exploding this hot mixture of expanding gas, is forced to eject itself due to the high pressure inside. As it leaves the combustion chamber, it creates an empty space of low pressure which sucks more air and fuel inside, to be ignited, thus repeating the cycle. This happens many times per second, and a constant stream of high-speed gases coming out of the back generate thrust. At the center of this engine are placed one-way check valves that allow air and fuel to enter the combustion chamber but prevent anything to come back. The valves help in the creation of suction that keeps the engine going and are one of the most important parts in the assembly. If the traditional valves were to be replaced with valvular conduits, we would have an engine with no moving parts. With zero moving parts, this engine could last longer and reach higher temperatures without compromising its functionality. And that is great, except it wasn't what Tesla had in mind. Tesla's biggest dream was to solve the world's energy problem. He wanted to create inventions capable of producing and transmitting energy in an efficient way. A pulse jet engine is a very useful way to generate thrust, but not so much electricity. So Tesla changed it a little bit. 
he replaced the traditional valves with his valvular conduit. Then, he took the entire Pulsejet engine and placed it on top of a Tesla turbine. A Tesla turbine is another invention by Nikola Tesla, a very interesting one that deserves a video on its own. And that's why I made a series of videos about it, that you can find at the end of this video. But in a nutshell, a Tesla turbine is a device that transforms high-speed fluids into mechanical rotation in a very efficient way. By connecting it to a pulse jet engine with Tesla valves, we create a very efficient machine that directly transforms chemical energy into rotational motion. If we couple the rotating axis to an electric generator, we get energy. I would like to replicate this design by creating a working prototype of this generator. If you think this is a good project to approach, don't forget to leave your opinion on the comment section below. Uh, this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and until the next time, bye bye.